Welcome to Soccer Super Lucky. Another two point drop by United against Southampton today. What can you tell me about this? Uh, it was a bad performance. We don't make any runs in the box. Uh, the players don't seem to know each other's movement. Mata is passing it to Rashford. And Rashford is just like, no, oh, it didn't reach me. Pogba is so frustrated because no one's making any runs. And uh, another two points drop. So that's like what, 17 points behind City now. It's like every game, the points they, they, drop, they drop more points against every match they play. They exactly. drop two against Burnley, two against Leicester, another two again yeah. to Southampton. Yeah. Uh, that is that. <coughs> I remember we had talked about uh, the game, like all these three games, and we I had said that we should be getting at least ten points. Yeah. So we have got what three points. We got three from nine. And uh, that is just horrible. It, it, oh, it, 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 it seems it seems that way, unfortunately. Uh, unacceptable. I, 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 with all, with all, with all, with all indications, it seems United are going backwards. This yeah. performance today reminds me of the poor performances we, we did, we had at home last season. Yeah. Nil nil with Hull City, yeah. Bournemouth, Arsenal, West Ham. Just drawing games that you should have killed off. Yeah. Right. Uh, what I'll say, uh, Pratik, who was the most disappointed player for you today? Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford. Okay. Who was the most I improved player? Was there an improvement in United's player from the game against uh, Burnley? Did anyone catch your eye today in the whole United team? No. Nope. Mickey okay. played a decent. Uh, he put in some few crosses, but uh, just not good enough. Pratik, are there any un any players you want United to sign in the new year? Is there any player that comes to mind that United should sign, or a group of players who should come to United? Well, I, I would like Paulo Dybala from Juventus. Okay. Uh, United should go for him. Uh, and I want Griezmann too. Griezmann, okay. Antoine Griezmann. But if they come, I don't want them playing at left back or right back. <laughs> I, I want them to play in the, in the, the, the positions that they are performing. They're, they're okay. best at. So, if Jose goes for them and he makes them play left back, I'll be really good. Right. Okay. From 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 today going backwards, what would you give United grade? What would you give? What would you give a grade for United performance up to today, the season so far? Uh, B plus. A B plus. Ah, oh, that's very uh, very generous, I must say. I would personally not give a B plus, but that's your opinion. I respect it. What do you expect from United in the new year, 2018? B plus so far in the season, but last three games D. A D. A D. Oh, last okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the performances up to the last three games have been a B plus. Yeah. The last three games you give them a D. A D. Okay. Yeah. Going into the new year, what do you expect from the game against Everton? First day of the I first game of the new year, 2018. Three points. I don't care how they come. If it's an own goal, if it's a handball goal, if we score three offside goals, I don't care. I I only want three points. Uh, okay. That's all I am expecting and that's all they should be going for. Hopefully we'll get the three points. With the title 60% over, should United now focus on the FA Cup and the Champions League or United should still chase for the title and hope City make a, a mistake? We should still chase for the title but we should really focus now on the FA Cup. Focus on the FA Cup. FA what of the Champions League? Champions League too, yeah. We'll, we should be Where you're going to deal with more technical teams. Exactly. So, <laughs> I, I don't see us doing much so well. So your hope yeah. is now in the FA Cup? My only hope is the FA Cup. My only realistic hope is the FA, FA Cup. FA Cup and to finish where in the Champions League? Second. In second, right behind second. City. You, you, yeah. you, you, you take, if you're not going to win the title, you want to finish second. Second. All right, Pratik, thank you for speaking to Soccer Super Lucky. You contributed a lot to most of our previous uh, shows. Thank you very much. We hope to see you in the new year. And hopefully, our game will start the new year with a victory Three. over Everton. Three. Thank you very much, Pratik. Thank you. Thank you. Joseph, welcome to Soccer Zulaki. What did you think of the game today? Man, this one. That's all I can say. Uh, technically, uh, as, as, as a football squad that's supposed to be a uh, top squad, top, top league ball, we just weren't good enough. Tech, on the technical side, we were losing balls. The passing was horrendous. I, I don't even understand what was going on. I don't, I don't even know what the game plan was, honestly. Because it seemed like we were trying to push the ball forward. 
you know, uh, Pogba made his mark. He was, he was moving the ball around, but there was a lot of guys just standing around. Zero confidence. Didn't know what to do with the ball with a little bit of pressure. I mean, come on, it's Southampton we're talking about. Here. Exactly. Same but, thing against Burnley. Same thing against Leicester City. I don't understand. Everybody, everybody on the team right now is afraid to fail. Everybody. Do you think the players are overcautious, overthinking the pass is not letting it flow naturally? Is that what you you think is going through? Like Rashford was asked to play centre forward. He was poor. I mean, he was poor. Yeah. I mean, like he spent too much time with the ball. There was one time they laid the ball for him. One touch. He tried to. That's, it. That's all he had to do. Just simple fundamentals. Fundamentals. I mean, just fundamentals. Advantage. <laughs> Trying to, uh, kick, you know, score from 20, 50, 40 yards. Like, that's not, that's not what you were here for. That's not what you were brought here for. What are you doing? That's not your game. What, what are you doing? But that, that just goes to show they're not seeing matches. They're not seeing any kind of avenue elsewhere. He's not seeing. He, he doesn't have any. Confidence. There were times he could have laid the ball to the left, laid it to right. He had to go for long range shooting, which were literally all off target. Our entire left side, left side, is gone. Mkhitaryan and Shaw, that is not a good combination. No. Mkhitaryan and Shaw did not know their left and their right natures. They look like two guys that had not played in a very long time. Yeah, you can see, you can see. They're, they're he like, was over hitting crosses that he could just lay the ball. I always say, if you're not going to cross, then shoot. If you're not, if you're not going to cross, then cross. If you're not going to cross, then shoot. Because if you can cut in and shoot, then I'll, I'll take that. But he was crossing, over hitting the passes. Like, come on, no one's going to get there. I don't know. With, with I think he's showing confidence. And with every time he overshot the ball, you can just look at, you can see it in his face. His confidence just goes. It's a bit lower and lower. Lower and lower. Vegetarian did not leave that game thinking, okay, next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into practice. I'm gonna get at it. it he looks like a guy that probably already punched his ticket to the next, uh, next team, uh, next phase of his career. Okay. Going forward now. Going to the new year, who do you think United should sign? Is there anyone that comes to mind that United should sign in the January transfer window? We definitely need a backup for the left back position. A uh, backup for the left back position. Okay. Right after now, start considering looking at a right back position because honestly, uh, Young could not be an option over there. Um, we need to get healthy and Mourinho definitely has change the game plan. This is not going to work in the Champions League. With, with, with this kind of plan, moving into next year, uh, going into the knockout stages, Champions League, we're going to get killed. We're going to get killed. Because they're more technical teams. Yes. They will yes. expose you. We will if you see the clear chance, you see the chances Southampton had, we didn't get those kind of clean cut chances. Did we didn't get that. Yeah. That shows us yeah. at home. At home. At home. Last game of the year. Something for the fans to cheer about. You know, just a, you know, tomorrow we're all with our family. You know, we got our champagne. We can just give our, you know, deadly deadly to Manchester United. But you know, it's unfortunate. But you know what? Hey, it's still United all day, every day. Uh, and, and we've had worse seasons than this. Yeah. Unfortunately, after this kind of win, after this it can't get any worse. This, this, at this point, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, we're, we're going to have to start having this conversation. Now we're going to have to start looking at top four. For the first time after this game, now it's, it's the conversation is now about top four. Because Chelsea have now climbed over. Right. Was there any player who stood? Sorry, is there any player who stood that for you today in the United? Is there any one player who, like you said, you know, earned his paycheck today? Well, once again, David De Gea with the clean sheet. That one, that uh, he used his leg to pull over the cover. Leg. That was going. That was a clean. That was a goal. That was, that a, was goal. a goal. Yeah, ninety percent of the, the uh, goalkeepers in Premier League, that's a goal. They've been there, earned his work today. Pogba did his best. Uh, unfortunately, but there's no. It's like when Pogba gets the ball, he's, there's no one moving for him Nobody. to find the ball. Nobody moving. And usually, you would think that would be a Lingard, a uh, Mkhitaryan's job, but Mkhitaryan was just. Sorry, he's, he's, uh, he's unfortunate. I like the guy. I like him when he came in. I like but how does a bad, a good player go bad overnight? Confidence. Two things. So only two things can do that. So, system, coach, manager. Hmm. 
Those that's a bit. That's well, a bit. Well, if, if you don't, you know, you don't have something to turn on, like injury or something like that. Two things can make you play a world-class player like that. So welcome to Soccer you like it. What did you think of the game today? Well, I think we could describe it in one word, a new chemical form, SH1T. Uh, it, it was poor. That's a new word I find out. It, it, it was poor from start to finish. The, um, the final ball in the first half was absolutely awful. We, we got the ball into good areas at times. But the, the, the final ball in was, was terrible and Mkhitaryan was really, really good. But the thing that saddens me is the decision making. You know, the, the decisions among the players? No, no. Well, yes, amongst the players. But Jose was criticised in the week when he was talking about Lukaku and only having one centre forward. Well, I think today that proved that he was right. The decision making from Rashford, from Martial, from uh, Lingard, it was poor. The, the second half, we never even worked their goalkeeper. And for me, Southampton looked as though they were the more likely to finish the game. We, we, we defended well, fair enough. We got a bit of luck with David De Gea's boot, but not troubling the goalkeeper at the Stratford end. Exactly. Ex exactly. Four. They Hopper, had clearer chances than United, who were the home team. Hopper, Hopper, Hopper. But we didn't create anything. We, we don't compete physically, we allow the opposition to the ball. You watch all the second balls, the opposition pick them up. We, we've got a major problem and, and I think the manager has got to address this. Right. Tom, 2018, what do you expect from United going into the new year? Well, I expect, I expect improvement, you know, I mean, the fans, the fans will quickly turn if they do not see an improvement. We saw it with David Moyes, we saw it with Louis van Gaal. Now, how much time will, will they give Marino? What I say to that is, it's not Marino who's out there crossing the ball, it's not Marino who's there try, trying to unlock defence. It's down to players to accept the responsibility. They're, they're very highly paid, they're supposed to be highly gifted. But we're yet to see that and we're a long, long, long way away. It, you know, it, it says a lot that we are in the position that we're in. So it, it tells you that the, the Premiership at the moment is the great lead. Right. City are absolutely stomping away. Yeah. Chelsea have now moved two points above us. Um, you know, Liverpool team, are right behind. But when, when you look at our last three games, which, which were today against Southampton, uh, Tuesday against Burnley, Burnley and then Leicester, Leicester City, three, three games that we really should take nine points from. Only taking three. And we dropped six. So, you know, if this continues, we're going to struggle. And, you, you know, on, on these performances, the European Champions League. It's not an option. No, no that is even a tougher you know, match. We've I mean, got bigger teams and better teams. Without the League Cup, without, you can say we're out of the Championship race. And we're, you know, we've, got, we've only got the FA Cup and the Champions League. Maybe we can win the FA Cup for the Champions League. No way. So that there's got to be improvement. And the fans have got to see. Because managing Manchester United is different. Right. It, it, it's a huge I can, that's, a, that's a big monster on his own. People, people don't understand the pressures that come with that job. And, you know, it's easy. We, we as fans, we, we can be very fickle at times. But we're now well into the second season with Jose. He's still not got his own team. Right. So, so it's going to be interesting. I can't see anybody coming in in the transfer window. Uh, it's going to be a summer deal, but I can see five or six players going. Right. Uh, and again, we, we've got to try and be patient. Uh, it's a rebuilding process. Rome wasn't built in a day. To build a team takes two, three years. Yes. You know, so we have to be patient. My argument. People are already saying, you know, well, we should get rid of Jose. Who do you replace him? I, I've been asking fans that. Who, who's available? There's no one available. I think the, the frustration is because they're seeing how good City are and the way United are currently. They're thinking, oh, sack him, sack him, sack him. And get who? There's no one out there. That, that's correct. And um, if, you, if you install a new manager, you're back two or three years. So you've got to start the rebuilding process again because one man's meat is another, another man's, man's poison. poison. You know, so... We, we've got a major problem, but I'm, I'm sure if people will be patient, the manager will address it. You know, it's going to take time, but you know, as we say, we'll never die. We're Manchester United. We get behind the club and the team, and, and you know, we give them their, their support. You know, it's okay. We're not happy at the moment, but 
you know, in the long term, give him his, his due, he'll get it right. Okay. Tom, one last question before I let you go. Is there any player in mind that United should sign? In the general transfer window or in the coming summer window? Very, very hard. But I do think that we need somebody who is going to win that ball in midfield. You know, we need a, a quality, strong man in the middle of the park. That Matic is doing okay, but we still need somebody there that's going to win the ball and knows how to distribute it now, who is around, who is available. Um, I am excited if we start to give young Gomez a go. Right, yes. You know, and we've got some good young kids. We've got some really good young kids. And if, if the... You know the name players aren't doing it. Throw the kids in. in, in the, in the Throw squad. The kids in. That would be Excellent nice. That'd be nice. You're going to get a lot more effort. But I've got great hopes for Gomez, and I, I think if he gets a chance, he'll grab it with both hands. It's, it's the same with Dimitri Mitchell. Everybody's been saying we need a fullback. That kid is mustard. He really is. Right. We've got some very very good young kids. So. The way the transfer market is at the moment, we can overprice players. We cannot compete with City, with Chelsea. Chelsea. Um, the players we want, we, you know, we're shopping at Woolworths while everybody else is shopping at Bloomingdale. <laughs> you know, so, I like the comparison, Tom. Know, so you know, we we've, we've got to go back to our own basic traditions and produce Lucian, our own youth. youth. And, and that would give me more satisfaction, you know, because seeing those kids. They grow up with the club, they know what the club's about, they know what the traditions are about. And, you know, I, I thoroughly hope that a lot of these youngsters are going to get the chance in the next few months. Alright, Tom, thank you very much. Okay. For speaking to Sokas, we like you. Hopefully, the next time I speak to you, if we see you again the match against Everton, we should have something positive to say. Thanks Happy New Year, Tom. Thank Happy you very much. Happy New Year to everybody. Yes. Um, no, just being from the US, I wouldn't mind uh, Pulisic, uh, Mkhitaryan swap. <laughs> to, uh, oh, you're being loyal now, aren't yeah. you? You're being patriotic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year. United have dropped six points in the last three games at home uh, this Christmas period. Yeah. What do you think of the championship? Is it over for United this season? Uh, if City keeps getting results, yeah. It's pretty much, pretty much done. I don't know if we can, we can chase it back from, uh, from All right, Josh, thank you for speaking to Sokas. We like it. Hopefully, our next match against Everton, we should be more fruitful and positive in front of goal. Thank you very much. Sean, welcome to Sokas. We like it. What did you think of the match today against um, against um, Southampton? Uh, looked like a whole bunch of uh, primer and not a lot of the gunpowder. Looks like every time we went to pull the trigger, there was just no bang. You know, every time we get into the 18-yard box, nothing happened. What do you what do you think is seem to be the problem? Manchester United not able to score goals against these teams: Burnley, Leicester City, Southampton. What are we lacking? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't have the answer for that one. Do you do you think United need to buy some players in the January transfer market? Seems like the players we have should do the job. Right. You know, but um, I don't know. Uh, just I, I can't believe I'm watching Manchester United whenever I'm watching Manchester United now. Today they dropped another two points at home to Southampton. Is that the end of the title chase for United? No, it's never over. It's not over. You, you still think United can catch Manchester City? It's, we've, we've got a whole another half the season left. Let's do it. You know? Right. I believe we can do it. I like your optimism and I like your realism. But are you realistic? <laughs> sure, you have to get catch. Southampton can catch Manchester City. Yeah, City. You know, City of football. The, the, they'll screw up somehow. Right. You know? So uh, I think it'll be an interesting title chase at the end. Right. Uh, it, I think it'll be uh, really interesting to see how the Champions League goes, especially right. now. Right. Um, but uh, the Champions League race, uh, I think that's going to be the most exciting part of the season. Right. Where do you want United to be this time next season? What, what's your hope for United going into the new year? What do you What do you personally want for you from United next season? Next Silver year. I want silverware. You want silverware. Yeah. Doesn't matter which. We've got FA Cup and Champions League left. I mean. Realistically, and we have the league, the league title. What do you want? FA Cup would be real nice, right? You know, uh, FA Cup would get us uh, get us something, right? You know, and then uh, Champions League. I think that should be the primary focus. Let's win the Champions League. Okay, Sean. Thank you for speaking to Soccer. We like it. Hopefully, next season. 
we have something going into the new year and we got Everton away on, on New Year's Day. Hopefully we can get something positive from that game. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you. Kareem, welcome to Sokasu Lucky. What did you think of the game today? 0-0 zero, zero home to Southampton, who are not even in the top 10. What's sad is that Southampton was playing as if that was their home pitch. Did you not get that feel? I, I, I could see that. But when you're considering you couldn't beat Burnley at home, you threw away the Celeste game, there is a problem here. I think there is a problem. There's a, there's a lack of confidence with, uh, with Martial, not Martial, I'm sorry, Rashford. Rashford. I said Martial. Cause, uh, that's fine. He's the only one that's actually doing right. anything. Uh, with Rashford and, uh, I mean, two times the ball at his feet, he's inside the 18-yard box and just, just messes it up. He just can't, he cannot find his, his, uh, his, his vigor, his quality. He's lost it. I mean, even sometimes, uh, there's another play where he's challenging a, a player. He made a cut and he had an excellent opportunity to lay the ball off or even shoot and he stood there. And I'm just like, something's wrong in that locker room. I don't know what it is. I mean, I kind of have a suspicion. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, this they're better than this. That's all I can say. They're better than this. Luke Shaw, every time he crossed the ball, it was blocked. Every time he tried to give a pass, it was blocked. I, and I know he's better than that. I know he is. But the, the, watching Luke Shaw and Mickey Turn, you can see lack of confidence. You can see lack, lack of match games, lack of consistency in the games. Luke Shaw had chances. Instead of passing, he kicked the ball straight out to the touch. And I'm thinking, hold on to the ball. All right, he wanted to make a cross on the left wing. If you see your left leg, then turn to your right and just cross it with your right foot. You know what that is? He crossed it outwards. You know what that is? It's called desperation. When you're playing desperate like that, that is what's going to happen to you every single time. Matic in the box, Rashford in the box twice, Martial in the box, even... Um, even uh, Mata. Mata, yeah, in the box. Just froze. They can't get anything done because they're so eager to get a goal. I think... And the quality coming in. It's not good. No. Look, the quality coming to the box, the crosses are not even good enough. What? Corner kicks, we don't even score with corner kicks. So I, I, when people take corner kicks, I like, you know, don't even waste your time because we're not going to score from it. I wonder what they do in practice because you think in practice they work on set pieces. We are, well, I would, I would, I'm confident in saying we're the worst in the Premier League for set pieces. I won't be surprised. I would not be surprised. We can see the low corner kick set pieces, but we don't score corner kick set pieces. No. When Lukaku left the pitch, People said, okay, because Marina has said the only centre forward he had is Lukaku. All right, we brought Rashford. I'm, I don't want to use the word he was shambolic, but he was poor. He really was poor. I think it's a loss of form. I hope, we go, into, I hope we go into 2018 more positive, more confident, more focused, more clinical. Because now we have Chelsea and Liverpool right behind us now. We've, we were six points ahead of them. Now we're literally struggling to keep in second spot. Yeah, my positivity for this season is, is out the window now, especially after this. You saw my earlier take. Yeah. When I said I'm not even worried about Burnley. You see what Burnley did to Yes. Him? And then here we are. Southampton. Southampton. Nil, nil. And, I mean, we barely kept the ball out of the goal. I mean. If not for the game, we won nil. Easily. Say is literally our, and I don't understand what it is with goalies and players from other teams. When they play us, they seem to stand on their heads. They're the best goalies in the league when they play against This Trafford. was the same Southampton team that got thrashed 5-2 by Tottenham Hotspurs. Came to Old Trafford and played like world beaters. It is quite demoralizing. I'm sorry, is it that United are poor or Southampton so good? It's just, I think it's just, it's down to us. We're poor. We're absolutely poor in our quality. Um, there's many chances that we could have had. I mean, we if we put away all the chances that we had, we talk, we're talking 6-0 right now. It's definitely. Who has disappointed you in today's games? Who, who was your biggest disappointment? I'd have to say Luke Shaw. And Luke Jared. Shaw disappointed you. I mean, he's known to run at people. Uh, he couldn't cross and he's really good at crossing. And nothing. He, his game was absolute. And then directly behind him, I hate to even say it, but Ogba disappeared for 60 minutes for me. He, 60 minutes, I didn't even say his name, didn't even know he was on the pitch. I thought he was so dark and so bad. 
and then all of a sudden he, he comes back in the side towards the end tried to make a couple runs, a couple passes, and we just didn't seem like we were on the same page. I don't know if it was a lack of communication or a lack of concentration, but we just didn't seem to be on the same page. What kind of improvements are you expecting from United in 2018? Goals. That's the, that's the only improvement that should be happening with goals. We need someone to actually step up and put the damn ball in the net. If that doesn't happen, you can forget about second place, third place, or even fourth. And remember, the top four now, we don't have this playoff system anymore. If you're top four, you're in Champions League. If you're not in top four, you're out. Forget about it. And I am not trying to be another Arsenal. Sorry to throw some shade. Are you, uh, is there any player you, you like United to sign in the January transfer window or in summer? Is there any players who you think could change United currently? Well, uh, all you have to do is uh, go Bring up Nicky Butt and talk to the under 23s because we have plenty of talent down there. But you no, are the second United Mourinho. fan who said we United have a lot of youthful talent who are being ignored at the moment. Mourinho's not a he's not a guy to put youth on the field. I, I tell you this, if it wasn't for LBG, and I'm not giving him you know the world's praise, but if it wasn't for LBG bringing Rashford to the side before Mourinho come in, Rashford would never see the pitch. We wouldn't even know who Marcus Rashford was. So, for me, I think we have plenty of quality within the under-21s, and we have some players that are out on loan, like, I don't know, Herrera. Herrera is, I think, our best number 10. He doesn't even play for us. He plays for Valencia, who I think is number three in the right. league right now. Right. So, I don't understand. Right. What, what? Shannon, welcome to Soccer Sulagi. How, how disappointed are you in the game today? Extremely. We couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Nobody could connect a pass. Nobody was making a run. Like, what the heck, guys? Like, come on. Those are easy mistakes. Let's fix them. Let's go. United have dropped six points out of the last three games, which are out of nine points, they've only picked up three points. How disappointed are you as a United fan? That makes me mad because we have the skill. Like, what are we using? The players on the field, what are they doing? It's the same mistakes over and over again. Like, the definition of insanity is making the same mistakes over and over again and not making a change. And we're not making a change. So, why do we expect a different result? Who was, who, was there anyone in the United team who kind of excited you? Is there, was there anyone, did any players stand out for your tour today or they were totally bad? <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily that everybody's totally bad. It's just there's some players that stand out a little bit, but nobody was like over the top. Today. Right, it's right. Just, no one stood out. a little bit. It was somebody here, somebody here, somebody here, but nobody over the top was like, oh yeah, that player. So far, up to today, what would you grade United as in terms of performance of this season so far up to today's game? What, what grade would you give United? Are you doing an A, B, a B, C? Or yeah. B, C, maybe? <laughs> I mean, I've been a fan since I was a kid. Right. This year, watching them, like, right. I used to play. So, right. watching what they're making, the mistakes they're making, it's the same mistake over and over again. Like, right that concerns me like right. what changes are you making we have these players and they have skill regardless of injuries like what are you going to do how are you going to change it right and that worries me what are you hoping for united going in 2018 because we have a, a game on new year's day away to everton what do you hope for united they watch tape and fix them like that's it it's you have these mistakes the same mistakes in defense same mistakes in offense our strikers need to actually defend i'm sorry yes you're a striker but you play the whole field Definitely. regardless Definitely. Like, get over it Midfield, like you're doing what you can. Defense, stop breaking down. There's, it's mental, mental breakdowns from left and right. The whole team has to play as a whole. And we're not right. Do you think they're not playing as a team together? They're not. I'm sorry. They're playing. Forwards are playing. Strikers are playing strikers. Midfield is playing midfield, and defenders are playing defenders. There's no, there's no cohesiveness. There's nothing. Nobody's taking. Oh well, right. our midfield will run up. Okay, well right. let me take the spot and we go after this guy. Everybody's playing what they think their position is, and you can't do that. Right. Shannon. As it stands now, United are going to be 17 points behind Manchester City, which is every Man United fan's nightmare. Yes. Is this the is this is this the title over for United now? Is it done? Is this goodbye, good night? Is it done completely? Yes. No. I mean, anything can happen. But at the same time, if we do the same mistakes, then yeah. <laughs> same mistakes, it's done. Sorry, like that's what's going to happen. Do you think United should, should, should still chase the title or concentrate on the Champions League and the FA Cup? Concentrate on all three. Like, if you're going to put a lot of work into the Champions Club and, 
you know, the other, the FA League, then let's then do that. But you've got to, you can't lose the EPL on, the, on top of it. Right. Like, keep second place. If we're going to do anything, then keep that. Keep the second place. Yeah. Currently, they've dropped to third after today's poor performance. <laughs> What's the question? The question now, Shannon, is where do United go from here? They need to fight and keep, get back in second. If you're going to keep anything, keep, then keep second. I don't care about top three. It's right. fine. Just but stay second. Keep second. Right. Like, you got to keep a name and keep second. Right. Whatever if you're not going to win the title, at least stay second and say, yeah. you know what? We can work we from We kept second this long, then let's win it back and keep it the rest of the season. Right. There's still, nine, there's still 18 games to go, so it's still, it's still possible. Right, Shannon, thank you for speaking to the Socats. We like it. We'll speak to you on New Year. Happy New Year in advance. Happy New Year. And hopefully in our next game, we'll have something positive to celebrate. Sure. Welcome to Socats. We like it. My name is Tim Russell, the host of this, this YouTube channel. Uh, today, we are having another day of poor football from Manchester United at home, playing a nil-nil draw at Hope to Southampton. So out of the three games played during this Christmas festivity period, we have dropped six points. Out of nine, we've only achieved three. Drew a Leicester, drew a home to Burnley, drawn at home again to Southampton. The, to say the performance was poor is an understatement. The performance was actually shambolic. When I mean shambolic, it was diabolical. It, it comes to the point whereby, who was the home team? Was it Manchester United or was it Southampton who were the home team at today's match? I am looking at this from a critical angle. Okay, we lost Lukaku, we lost Lukaku in the first half. We had to replace him by Rashford. But Rashford playing as a centre forward still could not deliver. Headed balls, poor crosses, poor balls, poor creativity from United. I actually don't know what to say about United's performance today. It was so poor that it's, it's inexcusable. It, you, you can't comprehend how bad United have gotten over this last Christmas period. I'm going to say, and I'm hoping I'm going to say, the match against Everton, which is on, two, is on Monday, New Year's Day, should be the start of an evolution, a, a start of a rebirth of Manchester United away to Everton at Goodison Park. If we could stop with a three points, at least that would give the team a lift going into the new year. Because we are going into the new year when we play in on, on Monday against uh, Everton. It is the first day of the year, it is the new year, it is the beginning of the, the second half of the season where United at least could make up for the poor performance they've made against these last three games of the Christmas festivity period. Who was the standout player today? I don't think anyone was a standout, so I can't really say United had a good standout player. The only person I could say really tried was Pogba, Matic and Marshall when he came on. Rashford was poor, uh, Lingard was poor, uh, the defenders Okay, Jones played well, he did what he needed to do, but the Gea was my man of the match. In going forward, I think United need to make some signings in the new year, especially in the January transfer window. The Juventus guy, everyone, Dybala, everyone's talking about him. I don't know if United want to buy him in the January transfer window or in the summer transfer window. But United need a change. We need, we need some personality to really spark. Because this team currently look like they don't know whether they're going left or right. It's like every player is backing away from putting the creativity into the man you know creative balls for the players to go forward and try and use the ball totally but i'm going to try and be positive in reference to this i'm trying to be positive in everything that's going to be Manchester united it has been a poor christmas festivity period we've lost six points out of nine i mean by united standards this is a very poor accumulation of points i mean if you say you're chasing Manchester city we have now literally dropped from second spot to first spot chelsea have now frog linked up and now we have liverpool right behind us if we're not going to win the title at least finish the title race with dignity by coming second if at all you could do that i don't think it's marino's fault all these people who are saying marino should be fired that's not the issue that Marino is not the one who goes onto the pitch. Marino is not the one who can't cross the ball. It's not Marino who cannot finish. It is the player. Mikatarin today, overhitting crosses. When he needs to cut the ball and shoot, he's passing and not running into position. He's crossing. He's crossing the ball too hard. There's no one who's there to get the ball. So, honestly, I thought Luke Shaw was poor today. I thought Mikatarin was poor today. So, it's not a lot. It's not about Jose Marino's problem it's not just a marina's problem it's a situation whereby united as a team have to find and go to that fundamental part of playing proper football so in reference to that i think today united could say after they've thrown another three points away in reference to the title chase we're now 17 points behind manchester city uh we've now dropped to third spot chelsea have now leapfrogged us it is not a good start into the new year but i'm hoping after the the, the victory over everton i'm being positive i'm trying to be optimistic 
after we try to beat Everton at Goodison Park on Monday. If we get those three points, it will give us that optimism and that new lease of life to go on and further improve our football. We've lost Lukaku. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. So let's hope and be positive that we could do something in the new year. My name is Tim Russell. Soccer as you like it. Subscribe to the channel and like it and we will be ready for the new year. Thank you very much and a happy new year to all my new subscribers and all my subscribers and followers. Thank you very much from Tim Russell and Soccer as you like it. Thank you very much.